Hello and good day everyone! Welcome to Teacher Eden's Lesson. First and foremost, let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and Amen. Once again, hello everyone! How are you feeling? Are you good? Alright, let's check now our attendance. Miss Secretary, is there any absent? Okay, very good! No one is absent. A round of applause everyone! Before we finally start our discussion, I want to introduce to you our class rules. So we have four class rules. First, listen to the speaker. Second, raise your hand if you want to speak. Third, be respectful to others. And fourth, always do your best. So our lesson yesterday is all about Interest Center. Now, Miss Cindy, what have you learned from our previous lesson? Okay, thank you. Interest learning centers are areas set up with the classroom with a specific focus that encourage children to participate in the focus of that area. And the purpose or goal of the interest center is to allow children to learn in a way they learn best. Now, please stand up everyone and let's sing and dance a song entitled Pa'a Tuhod. Are you ready? Let's start! Pa'a Tuhod, balikat ulo Pa'a Tuhod, balikat ulo Pa'a Tuhod, balikat ulo Pumajak tayo at magpalakpakan Paatuhod, balikat ulo Paatuhod, balikat ulo Paatuhod, balikat ulo Pumajak tayo at magpalakpakan Paatuhod, balikat ulo Paatuhod, balikat ulo Paatuhod, balikat ulo Pumajak tayo at magpalakpakan Pumajak tayo at magpalakpakan Wow! Did you enjoy it? That's great! Okay! The class will be divided into four groups with ten members and each group will be given five minutes to come up with the words that best describe and relate to the word tiered. Now, go to your group mates and start the given activity. Are you done? Please pass your work to our class mayor and I'll be the one to get it later. Do you understand? Okay, very good. So, how was your activity? Is it fun? That's good to hear. So, our lesson for today is all about tiered assignment. But before that, let's know first our objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students can first define tiered assignment through class discussion. Second, enumerate the six ways to structure tiered assignment by oral recitation. Third, draw or get a picture that illustrates the definition of tiered assignment. So what is tiered assignment? Many teachers use differentiated instruction strategies as a way to reach, all, to reach all learners and accommodate each student's learning style. And one very helpful tactic to employ differentiated instruction is what we call tiered assignment. A technique often used with flexible groups. So, tiering is a form of differentiation. A differentiation according to readiness of our learners. In a classroom, a teacher uses varied levels of activities to ensure that our students or learners explore ideas at a level that builds on their prior knowledge. 
and prompts continued growth. So students group are used varied approaches to exploration of essential ideas, much like flexible grouping or differentiated instruction. As a whole, really, um, tiered assignment do not lock students into ability boxes. Instead, particular student cluster are assigned specific tasks within each group according to their readiness and comprehension without making them feel completely compartmentalized away from their peers at a different achievement levels. So we have here the six main ways to structure tiered assignment. First, the challenge level. Second, complexity. Third, outcome. Fourth, process. Fifth, product. And lastly, the sixth, the resources. So, as a teacher, it is our job upon the specific learning task we're focused on to determine the best approach to our learners. So, first, we have the challenge level. Tiering can be based on challenge level where student group would tackle different assignments. Teacher can use Bloom's taxonomy as a guide to help them develop tasks of structure or questions at various at various levels so for example group one and group two so in group one the students who need content reinforcement or practice will complete one activity that helps build understanding well from the group two students who have a firm understanding will complete another activity that extends what they are already know so next we have the complexity so, when you tier assignment by complexity, you are addressing the needs of students who are at a different level using the same assignment. The trick here is to vary the focus of assignment based upon either each group is ready for more advanced work or simply trying to wrap their head around the concept for the first time. So, you can direct your students to create a poster on a specific issue or recycling and environment care for instance but one group will focus on a singular perspective while the other will consider several points of view and present an argument or for each against each angle if we talk about outcome Tiering assignment by differentiated outcome is vaguely similar to complexity. All of your students will use the same materials, but depending on their readiness level, will actually have a different outcome. It may sound strange at first, but this strategy is quite beneficial to help advanced students work on more progressive application of their students learning next is the process so this differentiated instruction strategy is exactly what it sounds like students groups will use different process to achieve similar outcome based upon the readiness next is the product so tiered assignment can be also differentiated based on product and teachers can use the Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence to form group that will hone particular skills from particular learning styles. For example, one group would be bodily kinesthetic and their task is to create and act out a skit. And the other group would be visual or spatial and their task would be to illustrate. So lastly, we have the resources. Tiering resources means that you are matching project materials to students group based on readiness or instruction need. And one flexible group may use magazine while other one may use a traditional book. So as a tip, you should assign resources based on the knowledge and readiness but also consider the group's reading level and competition. 
So, from time to time, students may question why they are working on different assignments using varied materials or coming to the similar outcomes altogether. So, this could be blow to your classroom morale if you're not tactful in making your tires visible. So, make it a point to tell your students that each group is using different materials or completing different activities so they can share what they have learned with the class. And be neutral when grouping students. Use numbers or colors from group names and be equally or equally enthusiastic while explaining assignment to each cluster. Also, it is important to make each tiered assignment equally interesting, engaging, and fair in terms of students' expectations. So, the more flexible groups and materials you use, the more students will accept that this is the norm. So, tiering assignment is fair in a way to differentiate learning. It allows teachers to meet the needs of all students while using varying levels of task. So, it's a concept that can use or can be infused into homework, assignment, small groups, or even learning centers if done properly. And it can be a very effective method to differentiate learning because in challenges, so because it challenges our learners now do you have any questions and clarification okay since you do not have any questions and clarifications we will be having an activity so the class will be divided into two and each group will be given different tasks to do but the same outcome and doing the same activity so the only difference is that the end product that is going to be complete so you will be given five minutes to answer the question for group one we have the described tiered assignment in either pictures or words for group two describe tiered assignment in a few paragraphs and represent it visually are you done Okay, settle everyone and answer the word search posted in the board. So we have here the direction, find and circle each of the word listed below. Words may be appear forward and backward, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally in the grid. Are you done? Now pass your paper in front. For your assignment, research and advanced study about mentorship and apprenticeship for our next topic. That is it for today. Thank you and God bless everyone. Bye!